Hello YouTube. Last week I went collecting for the rheumatics funds. It's a pretty common thing here in Holland, but in case it isn't where you live, let me explain. I had this metal case with me and I went door by door uh, ringing the doorbell and asking the people who live there if they had a little uh, spare change that they wanted to donate to the fund. A few of them wanted to know what rheumatics was or what the fund did, to which I explained that rheumatics is a joint disease and that the fund is a charity that funds research um, to help cure that disease. <coughs> Sorry, still a little sick. Um, and most people do actually donate, even if they don't have all that much themselves. So it's a really heartwarming experience. But anyway, on to the subject of this video. Last time I promised uh, I'd continue building the park I was building without realizing that the prehistoric kingdom demo doesn't allow you to save your game. So I cannot continue building that park and instead I'll be building the Jurassic Herbivore paddock separately and just kind of pretending like the Allosaurus exhibit is still here because this is on the same map. Um, so uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's speed build.
All right. So that was the speed build. I wanted to build a big uh, open plane with some hills in the middle for the Camarasauri, Stegosauri and Dryosauri to just roam around in. Uh, I placed a few uh, rocks and um, and plants on the hills to make them feel more than just some random heights in the landscape but like actually like some place that's more difficult to access to the dinosaurs so they're not grazing there as much and not um, trampling vegetation there as much as they are in the middle of their fields. Um, and there's two viewing areas. One that I just visited where the animals, um, where the visitors are at the same height as the animals and can just view them through a glass window. And then of course the visitors can view them from the paths uh, through the fence. And then there's another real viewing area. Um, where the visitors are elevated and can look at the dinosaurs more directly. Um, a lot of zoos do something like this with giraffes and elephants. And I figured since uh, especially sauropods are so similar to giraffes and elephants, uh, this would work with, uh, with them as well. Uh, I hope you guys think the same. I hope you guys think it uh, works uh, this way too. Like, like it looks good. Um, I'm not quite sure what I'll build next time. There's three more exhibits I, uh, uh, I can build. All Cretaceous. Uh, one is a big enclosure for Tyrannosauri. One is a smaller enclosure for Velociraptors. And one is a um, uh, one is a herb is an herbivore paddock for uh, Triceratopsis and uh, Gallimimi. So uh, yeah, you'll see next time which one I decided uh, would be most fun to build. And uh, yeah, see you next time.